Steve. Steve. YouTube, it's Theme Park Buzzer with Mrs. Buzzer. I may I say your skin is looking flawless today, Thank Maxine. You. Somebody commented on the uh, on the blogs about Maxine's flawless skin. I just said it was filters. Yeah, shame it don't work on yours either. Cool. So what's your secret, Max? You've got to tell everybody. Imperial leather. Imperial leather, soap. She said it's soap. soap. So welcome to today's vlog, a bit of a catch up as you saw by the title. Yes, we are getting a pool. Um, and the reason um, it's taken a few weeks to sort of tell you the final decision is, well, I'll explain that at the end. There's a lot of things have had to go on before we got a final approval, which was like um, uh, yesterday. So um, yeah, let's catch up with that. A couple of things to catch up with first in this vlog. We're going to go through, I have to, I, actually, I need to follow up and tell them about the spring first, because remember when we said, Things yes. happening three. We never told yes. you about that. We will follow up on the AC um, problems that we had and get rid of the old stuff. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, the uh, oh yeah, the um, the water heater that didn't didn't pass, didn't inspection. pass inspection that we have to have a look at. Uh, catch up on the bathrooms and the laundry room, and then we'll sit down and talk to you about the pool. So um, we won't be long with the other stuff, just give you a quick catch up because we're just trying to, this is kind of a catch up vlog on all the um, home stuff because the last time we probably filmed around the home, even though you saw it, you know, quite recently was probably a, a few weeks ago because we've been... And a lot's few, happened since then. A lot's then. happened since then, hasn't it? So let me start, just whiz you out front and show you the, um, the problem with the sprinklers. See ya. <laughs> Max is staying inside because if you go back to that vlog where we had all the AC problems, we had the house doors open for, you know, um, many, many days and for the last, it's been a week since the AC has been fixed but we're still getting bit by um, midges or by um, mosquitoes kicking around so she's staying inside. I am looking for this big screwdriver but I think, um, I think uh, Crazy Scottish Neighbour's still got it because Crazy Scottish Neighbour is the one who helped me solve the sprinkler problem and I'll show you what it was as we come out here. So just a quick recap, uh, they came in to demo the bathroom, they turned the water off and then the moment they left we hadn't had the sprinklers working even though the water was back on in the house. So I suspected they'd somehow turned the wrong thing off. Um, Crazy Scottish Neighbour came to help again but if we look out here outside this is where the main water shut off is to the house and I, I kind of lifted that but everything was turned on and obviously it was on because we had water coming into the house but if we come across here on the other side between us and the neighbours um, there's this other one here and this is where my screwdriver went because I gave crazy Scottish, na Scottish neighbour it to lift this up and I probably can't get it with this because he's got my big driver yeah I'm not going to get it open but basically under here there's two valves with gauges on and they feed the sprinkler systems so it's completely separate and one goes to the next door and one goes to us and what had happened is um, they turned it off. They must have thought it was the water main to start with and then turned the other one off, but never came back to turn this back on again. So luckily, uh, once um, everything was sorted, we had uh, sprinklers again. Once crazy Scottish neighbor, I need to get my screwdriver back from him. I'll just have a look. I don't, it's not on the floor around here. You must still have it. Secondly, touch wood. I guess I'll touch the handle of this screwdriver. Uh, the AC has been in a week now and has been working well over a week. It's still working fine, as you see here. We've had no problems to report off, but what you'll notice is missing is the other unit. Yeah, we. Um, I think the last time I left you, I said I was going to put it on, or Nick uh, Lodge guy said we should put it on um, Facebook Marketplace, see if we can get some money for it, and we did. Um, somebody came the next day. Yeah, we only got 400 bucks for it, but I mean, they were going to take it away when they put the new system in and give us no money. So that's $400 in our pocket that um, we wouldn't have had. So, and you know, I'm glad they just carried it away. We didn't have to get rid of it all. So back out of the uh, heat into the garage. Now, a lot of people have said to us before, having all this work done on the house, I want to tell them the prices for the labor and stuff. People, a few people have said to me, well, why don't you just, you know, get some friends to fly out, pay their air ticket. They could come over here, do the work, you know, whether, well, uh, you know, kind of do it on the cheap, on the fly. And one of the big reasons you don't do that is permitting. Um, anything you need doing over here has to have permits by the county. Now you could get away with them um, trying to cheat that and not get permits. But if you do and you get caught, then the serious ramifications to you and fines and everything. And here's an example of that about, um, I don't know how many months ago it was now, two months ago, I think we showed you it. We had this um, gas water heater installed. We got it done by Home Depot. Uh, they, we bought it and they installed it. I think it was like a thousand bucks, whatever. And then um, it had to have a permit by the county. And I got an email or a letter, got a letter actually the other week saying, this permit's still open, it hasn't been inspected, we're gonna send somebody around. So they did send somebody around this last week and it failed. And the reason it failed is, as I step over all this junk, is you see the two pipes coming out the top there, left and right of the main vent. 
by code in 2023 those pipes have to have a six inch distance between the vent because the heat um, actually causes these plastic pipes to weaken and fracture wasn't code when it was put in in 2006 but it's code now so it failed inspection and the same company that put it in have to come out at their cost and basically they'll have to put like an elbow a 90 degree elbow and take those pipes out and then up rather than have just for that you know whatever it is that six or eight inches that it's there running next to it. the one at the back's clear so they've got to come in and repipe that and i'm waiting for a phone call to do that but anything like water heaters ac windows um, you've all got to have permits don't pulled so to especially if it's electrical or plumbing or gas to make sure that, that it's done to code um, current codes for this uh, for this year so that um, needs a little bit of work on it you'll notice our stash of stuff for the bathroom is going down that's got to go back to the um, we haven't had time yet to, to Home Depot we'll get his money back on those packs that aren't open um, I think we'll keep the tile toilet's got to go in lights but we'll take it up there and show you what's happening up there and that big piece of metal trim will take that back because it was never used so like I say the AC has been going fine no, no problems on that so far um, touch wood I did have them come back in actually there was a problem and I don't know if I told you but um, I'll put a photo in here I inspected this is like a, a mass tech they put around the top to seal that um, that's like an electrical current passing through there to pure what takes uh, bugs out of the area it's an extra add-on it's like a, a light source it's not UV but it's electrical and it's like um, negative ions I think is the right way of doing it to kind of take all the bugs out there and they hadn't sealed that very well up there in fact you could still see the yellow insulation as you'll see on that photo uh, up there so I had them in again to uh, patch it and then I did complain to the boss that they did leave a lot of wire things and there were screws on the floor and he did knock me um, um, some more money off because they didn't clean up very well out here so pretty good I mean you know he's um he, the boss came around to inspect it and um, they, they came back and did a lot we did have to turn this off for about which they didn't do we had to turn it off about five hours which got a bit warm in the house just to let that mastec cure otherwise it's just soft and runny in all this humidity but fingers touch wood touch the wooden handle again things are going well um, with the AC and we don't have any more problems so let's go inside the house and catch you up in there I'm back inside the house and look Max. Ooh, yeah, we can dance, we can dance, we can dance. We for the first time in how many months? Three. Three months. The um, vanity has, has gone. finally gone. We did have a bit of a interesting find with it though, didn't we? We did. Because we had the plumbers come in and measure it all, and the electricians come in and measure it all yeah. to get everything to the right height in the bathroom. Yeah. And then what did I find? Well what I did was the thing is I knew they were coming to take it upstairs, and it's so very I, heavy. it's very heavy, so I thought, let's make it as light as possible, so I took the drawers out of it, yes, didn't I? Did. And what did I find in one of the drawers, Max? Legs. Yeah, it had legs to go underneath it. That we... And kind of subconsciously knew it had legs, but never even occurred to me that yeah. it had legs. Four inch legs. <laughs> yeah. Which means everything that had been measured in the bathroom was four inches out. Yeah. So we were a bit on pins yesterday, how it was going to go, because worst case scenario is, plumber has to come back in take everything out we do all the plumbing we do it now the electrical i think you saw in the last vlog was way off anyway yes i mean even if we didn't have the feet it wouldn't it wouldn't have fit so we did have the electrical guy come back and move stuff already but luckily we found these feet before then but let's take you upstairs and show you how the uh, how the bathroom's looking we're on us crinkly paper still and i can tell you now um it's been a good day working upstairs today, hasn't it? Yes, it has. Because it's been, been in with the solvents, high as a kite. I had to go and turn the uh, extraction fan on in here because I was like seeing double. Oh, I was seeing double downstairs. You were downstairs, I was yeah. Like, What's going on? But there? let's do a reveal because I think last time they saw it, the tile was in and that was about it. Right. So here we go. I'm going to show people around. Yeah. Yes. The so, vanity yeah. is in. It's in and they have put the backsplash on. I said the electrician came round and moved this anyway, didn't he? Yeah. To a central location, so we've kind of lined that and up. And he's patched all the And he's patched all the drywall up there. You can see, as I said before, if you look, that the electrical is supposed to be in line with the middle of the sink. That's the middle tap of the sink. And we will go up and it's there. So it's probably about three or four inches. So you've still got to put some boxes in here and move these across and they'll have to patch that as well. But it's in, and then we'll show you what the plumbing looked like when they got it in yesterday and as you can see or maybe you can't see with the lack of light 
It's just about to show that one, it's putting more light on this one. Do you think? Yeah, I think it'll be in Yeah. As you can see, it just, just got through it. the hole at the bottom. So hopefully that'll be okay. And there's a little um, hole in the bottom of it to put in the U-bend in. Because you have to have a trap um, going in there. So, got to cork it here. We ran out of cork today, out of clear cork. And then this is what the bath, I don't think this has changed since you saw it last time. I don't think you grouted last Maybe time. Maybe you haven't grouted last time. We picked grouted. a grey grout, didn't you? Yeah, so a dark, like grout. dark grey grout. And they've got to come back and I've asked them to cork all the way with a clear, all the way around the bath. Max it's only grout, it's only grout is that sort of Yeah, you need to see it. Maxine's noticed it's, it's not in square, but I think that's to do with the walls, not the bath. Yeah. But her AC, uh, OCD's kicking in. You can, I mean, just from the distance of that tile to that tile. Um, you need to be going that way a bit. You will not notice when the toilet's in. No, and the toilet's got to go in there. But yeah, the, the, the feet were in this bottom drawer here, which we never opened, had we? And yeah. you can see, I'll show you them, they are a good uh, four inches of feet. And there's two legs under the middle to support it, and two at this side. And it does actually show it on the drawing at the front. Yeah. Though we never looked on the drawing on the front, did we? So, this was a Home Depot one as well, wasn't it? it yeah, was. there they are. The second Home Depot one, because yeah. this one was broken, remember? Well, this one was broken as well. If you remember this and go back to the vlog, this is the one where I replaced those little pieces of wood up there that had smashed to uh, stop the doors from going all the way back. But um, I had to adjust the doors, but everything was uh, pretty good. I think it looks all right, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. That's going to be fine. So, next thing is come and seal it, plumbing, electrical. Max has already painted, you say, why is it all look like it's pretty much painted? Well, Max has already painted this one, so haven't you? Yeah, I've You came in and did a... Primed did a, it all. Primed it all. Too. The skirting board's just gone in today. So I need to paint that. So that needs painting today. Um, yeah. But I think... Uh, the taps to go in and the plumbing. Yeah. The bath to be finished up. You think so? Yeah. And that's um, one of the things she... Well, the reason she was painting is she wanted to... Uh, finish off the laundry so I can give you the final view of the laundry before we update you on the pool. I wanted some hangers. System. Oh yes, yeah we talked about this last yes. time we didn't show anybody. I didn't did want the cook cabinet there, I wanted a hanging system so this is what I went with in the and end. Something that was on wheels. Yes, yeah, so I can move out the way if I need to put my big maiden up. Yeah, you got your maiden there. Yeah. You got your bottles of uh, liquid under there. Yeah. Uh, your trash and then bottles on top. And this was hanging, there was stuff here before you've taken it off now, haven't you? I have, yes. Yeah, you had hanging stuff on it. Yeah. And then we still got to find somewhere to put the ironing board. Yeah, I'm not we sure. We were going to put it on that wall, but there's no room, is there? No, not really. It's yeah. a bit of a tight squeeze. Yeah. And same with this one here. Unless you can get it on back a door, you're thinking, are you? I don't think it'll be wide enough. To go I on think there. it'll be too wide. Yeah. Be too wide. You might get a one in the wall. Yeah. Not a shelf one. Right, um, so that is kind of a finishing upstairs. Let's go downstairs, and the reason you're probably really watching the vlog is for the pool. Find out what's uh, what's going on with the pool. Anyway, you caught up on all the home stuff. You won't be seeing any more home stuff for a while now because they're just going to finish that off. We maybe could give you a quick view of that in another vlog. Um, but the main next construction work we'll be doing will be the pool, yeah. and we'll talk a bit about that. So we thought we'd bring you outside here to uh, talk a little bit around the. Uh, around what's happening. Now, as we record this, we are into September, and actually we signed a contract for the pool, I think, before we went to England. Yes, we did. Just it was in, in July. Uh, but the reason we haven't been able to talk about it is it wasn't approved until today. And the approvals that you are needed is there has to be the HOA, which was approved pretty quickly. It has to go through a design review, an engineering review, which, well, the design reviews with Orange County, the engineering reviews with Orange County, the zoning review is with Orange County and then the final approvals are with Orange County. They're all permits that are included in the price of the pool and um, but uh, from the company. Mm -hmm. But you have to get them all approved before they can even think about it. Think, well, move ahead. Yeah. So we have a phone call scheduled on Monday with the contractor to um, discuss the start of what's going to happen. And the pool itself, well, actually, just let me run out front. Give me 10 seconds. Sorry, I forgot to mention this. Um, the other thing is when I have that call on Monday, the first thing I need to do is schedule um, the HOA here to come and remove all this lot. So they're gonna remove um, all these bushes down here and all the bushes around the front 
because and 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 all that wonderful lawn and bits and not lawn I should say all the uh, all the mulch and went down because basically this is where the access is going to be to the do the construction work I've talked to the next door neighbor and they signed a contract with something else we had to do they signed a, a, a contract with me that all this is going to get ripped up so I've got to replace all the sod and we'll probably damage the sprinklers because they'll churn it up so paying for the sprinklers to be um, um, replaced so they're going to tell you and, 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 and the reason I'm not letting the pool people doing is apparently crazy Scottish neighbour says they'll just come in with um, chainsaws and chainsaw the bushes off and pull them he's going to get the local um, HOA here to rip these out and take the roots out so that we are able to plant something again but uh, this is all going to have to come out from here and all the deck cross here and probably all these lights because the diggers are going to go between that electrical box and our entry here that's how they're going to get in and it's a big enough digger if we were to go the other way down the other side of the house it would have cost us more money because it was a smaller digger which was more time so all this is going to have to go and i need to give and the reason i'm letting you know is when i have that phone call on monday and arrange the schedule when they're going to start um i need to give two weeks notice to crazy scottish neighbor so he can arrange for the hoa to come and take these out before they begin to give them access and the other thing he's told me to do is this is another sprinkler um, area and what i need to do is dig out all this earth he's started having a go at it and what he's told me to do is dig this all out and then the pipes are under here these are the valves that are controlled by that the electrical valve so when it says start zone one there's all different valves with zones and pipes that come out I'll probably dig this out with the spade and mark up the pipes which direction they're going because he thinks only one will go that way and the others will go this way and what, he, what he's basically working on is rather than rip the whole thing up just cap off the pipes that they need, they, um, need to cap off and not destroy everything so part of the contract we paid for with the pool is that they would take care of all is it extra cost but they'd take care of all the irrigation and replace it all when it's done um, but i think there's only one going that way and i have to cap it off and what we'll do is run a hose down here to keep this grass alive but basically when you get down the back of the house and we'll talk more about this with max in a bit is all this sod all this grass apart from the strip down here all this will be torn up and all down the other side will be torn up by the diggers that will be going down there so part of the budget for doing a pool is you have to include landscaping once it's done because a you have to by contract with the neighbor replace anything that's damaged and b um uh you know you've got to replace that stuff but you see how narrow this is here if we were trying to get um we take all this bush up but you wouldn't be able to get um, as big a digger in here as you would on the other side which meant it would take two days two or three days longer which meant more money so to speak so um let's uh let's get back inside and catch up with maxine or back out out back i should say right i'm back i'll just explain some about the bushes oh, yeah. how we're gonna have to get crazy scottish neighbors to take them out we have to let them you know two weeks yeah and all this training has been doing me on the irrigation yeah to uh fix that so um the pool itself um i'll put some pictures up here i'll put the pictures up there renderings obviously it's not in yet because there's nothing there so the pool is going to go here at the back of the house if we do a quick explanation i guess this this mesh is going to come out yes be removed but then you'll if you start seeing the pictures you'll see there's like a like an extension here we've paid to have like a what would you small call it roof. a small roof pop out just to give us a bit more shade i think it was five feet five feet was it yeah and it runs like the length of this to give us a bit more shade that was an extra that we paid for yeah um you can see from the drawings the pool itself is going to be run the width of the house um we paid a bit more than originally planned because when i, I look you know i did the research of putting a pool in we weren't going to have a hot tub to start with were no, we? We weren't. but when i look at the biggest regret and watch a lot of vlogs on youtube of people their biggest regret is not putting, not putting a hot tub in because you can't do it once it's in if you put it in or try and do one afterwards the pool people won't warranty no. the work because you're doing big excavation work and so um, that hot tub you see on there, how big was it? Yeah, I think we got seven by seven. Yeah, so you could get a few people in it at once. You said six to eight. But I think it's more like at least. Yeah. Four to six. But I think um, we were working with Cura Pools. We had a budget and it was above budget. So it was little things like we made that spillway between the hot tub uh -huh. and the pool uh, uh, like a foot. Small. Three foot to two foot. Mm -hmm. That means we needed a smaller heater for the hot tub, which saved us a few thousand dollars. So that said, is where we lost money is this this land slopes out the back, doesn't and we like it doesn't look like it, but we have to have risers. How big were those risers? Eighteen inch. Yeah, we had to have eighteen inch risers instead of uh, to level put, it off. Putters instead of twelve inch putters. And how much was that? That was like about, about five, five grand. grand. Yeah. So they are like extra. what we saved on one, we lost on the other. 
But then we're going to have the hot tub here. The pool is how wide, Max? Uh, I can't remember how wide it is. It's about 28 foot long. 28, that's what I meant. 28 foot long across here with a step to get out at that side. We want to leave some grass area for pooch when we get a pooch. Yeah. So we didn't want it to go right to what you can see roughly where our land, well, where that fence, next door's fence ends. And we will put a similar fence like that up once it's all done down the side and have a metal one you can see through across the bottom. Um, so the pool's going to go in, so they'll come, they'll excavate. This will take how long, did they say? Uh, it's about six months, is it? Yeah, five or six five months six from months. when we start. And we're into September now. So yeah, you're going to be um, March next year. So it'll be a long thing. We'll have to come in, level it all, dig holes. Uh, what we got for the included price, which is the reason we went for this, because remember, we were just going to get, we were going to get like a concrete slab, patio, patio, the patio and a by roof, fourteen feet, yeah, by twenty, yeah, which is basically the same as the lanai, yeah, and put some, and put some screen around it, and this, yeah. the pool ended up like roughly three x, well, the basic was three x the price of yeah. doing that, so it wasn't ten x, but it was three x. That's what made us think, oh, should we push the budget and and do that? But we're getting the pool. Um, Max has chosen the tile mm -hmm. um, already to go in, the blue tile. Yes. I can put a picture of that up as well. I don't know if we've shown people that before. We may have done don't already. Know if we haven't. We'll put it up again if we haven't. So the tile's been chosen. Um, we're going to have pavers rather than concrete yeah. in a pattern. What's also included the price is two gas heaters, yes. um, which are um, more efficient than electric. And the reason we get two is in the winter time, we could just run one, just run the hot tub yeah. and not run the pool. And in the summertime, you shouldn't have to run either to in Florida. So it should be quite efficient from that side. Um, what, what is also included, they also include in their price an auto fill system. So if the pool gets um, too, low. too low, it will auto fill. And it's a smart system from your phone. They also include, as you'll see in these drawings, um, pool lights, mm -hmm. which a lot charge you extra for. And also a cage. So we're going to have a cage. Right, you're back with us. Um, the camera overheated there. These GoPros are not, I was using it on the battery in the GoPro and when you got the media mount on it, they heat up. That was running for, I found about 15 minutes in Florida temperatures mm -hmm. and it overheats. So what I do is I'll cut it in here. We have like a, um, a stick with a battery inside of it and have no battery in the camera and it runs forever then. So we have no problem. So you're back on the battery stick now, we're good. So as we were saying, um, cage, which a lot of people charge X for. How, how, how high does the cage go? About 10 feet, is it? It's more like 15. 15, like a dome. So it's gonna come across here and come down either side to the ground and that will be like on the extremity of the pool so we got the dome uh, which is this kind of mesh keep the bugs out we got the dome we got the lighting we got the autofill we got the smart control system um, for um, included mm -hmm. which a lot of companies don't and then obviously we're gonna have to pay out for the landscaping replacing and then putting a fence in afterwards once it's all done but that'll be um, that'll be next spring before we're there so uh that's about it i think uh also the payments we've paid a deposit that's like it was 10 percent yes and then it's stage payments there's a payment when they dig the hole and finish there's a payment when they do the shot creek or what it's called like the concrete, the, the concrete. so it isn't a plastic Lunar. liner it's a concrete thing and then they do another one i think there's about four payments yeah. aren't they and then the last one's when it's done so you only pay um bits at a time, bits at a time until it's actually done so take a good long look. I know we like the grass out here, but um, <laughs> it's going to be gone in a bit. It's going to be, this is going to be a, a, a mud site. hole. A building site is a good word probably for the next four months. And we'll kind of drip feed your vlogs as that goes. But thank you for all your comments around that. Most of you did say get a pool, get a pool. Some say get a jacuzzi. Yeah. Um, we were kind of leaning that way, but it did mean us making a few sacrifices on other things that we were going to do, like um, holidays and things like that. So I think next year will be, will be, um, stay, staying at home, staying at home <laughs> next year, and um, and you'll, you, yeah, we had to, uh, you know, there's no, uh, we want to do it without getting in debt. You can get a loan, but we didn't really want to get a loan for doing this. We wanted to do it, uh, and the nice thing of it taking so long is those payments are staged over six months, mm -hmm. so you don't have to have it all in the bank on day one because we don't have it all in the bank at no. the moment, do we? <laughs> don't worry, that'll work out. I'm sure that'll work out. So yes, thank you for uh, for joining us today, catching up on the. Uh, laundry room, bathroom, and here. Today is um, a Friday afternoon, evening even, and it's a holiday weekend, so join us in the next vlog, where one thing we planned, and this was before we had all the problems with the AC, is about six months ago, I thought, okay, we're having this bathroom done. We're gonna be Laundry stressed. done, we're gonna be stressed. Yeah. And what I planned was 
uh, it must have been six months ago, a weekend away in one of our favorite spots you'll know, Melbourne, Florida. So I booked us a Sea View Hotel, um, and boy, I'm glad we did now. Because after that AC in the last month, we're pretty frazzled, aren't we? Yeah. It's only been this week we've really sort of catching up on our sleep. So come with us. We're gonna, in the next vlog, we're gonna head down to Melbourne and we'll catch you up and give you an overview of Melbourne Airport um, and see what's changed there since the yeah. last time we, we were there. So thanks for watching, everybody. I know this is a short and sweet vlog, but um, catch, caught you all up and join us as we um, head down to Melbourne. Thanks for watching. Appreciate each and every one of you. If you like what we do, please like and subscribe. Put your comments below. Tell us how mad we are for doing this on the house and getting it done. But we're thinking if we don't do it now, we'll never do it, will no. we? And we've decided we're staying put. Yeah. We're not going to um, move around. The, house of this pri the price of this house nearly doubled yeah. in the time we've had it. So even if we put a... We know we're going to get near. People said, oh, you, you're outpacing the value of the house. No. We're not going to get anywhere near spending as much money as the house is worth now because prices have gone crazy. And we got it cheap because... You need a lot of work. work, you know, at the end of the day. So that's the way it goes. So yeah, put your comments below. Um, tell us what you think about the pool. I'm sure many of you will be happy and many of you will be wanting to come and see us yeah. when they're in town. <laughs> and uh, we will see the latter. Bye. Bye.